Hello everyone and welcome to Radar Plays New Releases. As you can see, we are playing God of War Ascension, the uh, newest God of War game, I guess is the best way to describe <laughs> it. I mean, I'm Hollander Cooper, here with me is... Henry Gilbert and Ryan Telgenik. And yeah, it's a prequel to God of War. As you Why can is he see. all chained up? He's had a rough day. He's ascending right now. This is the middle of this is mid ascension. So is this where he's this is before he's a god, he's a man. Yes. A oh, man a that has god game. powers. Mm -hmm. This game is an FPS. Yes, it is. <laughs> Actually, from this <laughs> angle, fact. this angle it looks a lot like Xenoclash. Oh, yeah, which kinda. would be awesome. Although his his face Hello, seems Kratos. whiter than ever. Hello, little Daniel. That's not his name. Well, that'd be funny if it was. All right, so is, this, mean, is this how he got his swords? His blades of chaos? No. Oh, come See, on. That's, that's my issue. It's so all explained in God can of read, War. You can, read about my, you can read about everything in my review, but one concern I have about this game is that, like, it doesn't really show you how he got anything. He's just sort of Ew. like... Oh, my. That's really gross. What? She has some problems going on. You seem confused, Kratos. It doesn't really, like, reveal any new information about God of War. It's just like, yeah, remember how he... You started God of War 1 with Kratos being, like, an Ouch. angry guy with blades? Well, this is what happened soon after he became an angry guy with blades. Yeah, but, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. How about... Ah! Ooh. No. Boy, that shit looks painful. She knocked him out of his chains. I think That's she's going to come to regret that. That was a strong uppercut. I am quite skilled at teaching race. Her, her skin looks like it's just sponge. She's got sponges on. Well, so That's she's because... a fury, right? Yes. Oh, this is how you learn Ouch. to move left and right. Except I didn't do it right. I uh, that. Hard to believe you play the game. Yeah. <laughs> so one thing they, they added is like... Uh-oh, I messed up again. Uh-oh. Nice. I didn't think he had that much slack, but apparently he, he had does. a lot. They, she gave him way too much room. Uh oh So one thing this game does well oh, is man. like, besides having the typical quick time events you'd expect, there's also stuff like this where it's just like, hey, we played Infinity Blade and liked it a lot. <laughs> and then you I just do it. I can see that getting really annoying though if they overdo it. It's oh. actually not oh. ever done. Oh boy. It's kind of awesome. Wow. Just let's appreciate how good this game looks. Oh, seriously, it looks incredible. Like, this is in game. Yeah. This is pretty impressive. When I saw the E3 demo, I was like, I guess this looks pretty good. But this is Yeah, that's really nuts. Um, but so, those are the Furies, right? Yes. All right, so this kind of bugged me. They're, they're just like out for, but teach him a lesson or something. So he broke, he's <laughs> trying to break his oath to, uh, to Ares. Mm -hmm. I mean, and pots. they are they are supposed to keep make sure people keep their oaths. I see. So they're doing it by being a dick. So he was just like, look, I kind of I'm I regret, I regret wearing my skin as a or my family as a skin suit. And they're like, we don't care. You you, you no takesy. I think essentially it's no takey backsies is the entire the plot. Backsies. That's what wow, confused wow. me because I was a big fan of Greek mythology as a kid, but it was. Uh, the Furies, as seen in the Agamemnon trilogy of, uh, of stories, uh, they get revenge on people for killing family members. Yeah, it does. They're, they, they have plenty of reason to yeah. want to take out anger on Kratos. I thought, and the reason be... they do uh -huh. has nothing to do with the fact of like what they actually do. Huh. Yeah, I was hoping that would be like the twist at the end of the game. Like we weren't after you because of Ares; it's because you murdered your family. Dumb. To make you like feel bad about stuff, but yeah. no, it's it's more just like, no man, like they're they are the oath keepers, and they. Uh... Oh, that looks really nasty. Poor Shadow. Oh, I didn't like how it cried like a baby when he was getting morphed. That was uncomfortable. No, nobody's happy when that happens. Ugh. So you fight bug monsters. A lot, you fight huh? a few bugs. Not a, not a lot. Oh, those are kind of cool. This is really a bit cool sci-fi for gear, or gear God of War. <laughs> Gears of War. So they're coming out a week to, uh, cr apart from each other. Yeah, I know. It's funny. We, we we always joke about how there are no more console exclusives. Meanwhile, like every week this month, there's at least one console exclusive. <laughs> There's this, there's God of War, there was SimCity last week, there's uh, StarCraft next, there's, like, every system has its own exclusive of some kind in yeah, the next week or yeah. In oh, let's see a horrible death! <laughs> <laughs> Relatively tame for Tiger Roar death. death. Yeah, rare. 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 <laughs> Sony's year this year is, man, Has he got all their blood all of them? Like, Sony has such yeah, a Yeah, he gets year covered of, in blood, uh, it's kind of cool. That's Sony gross. has such a year of exclusives, like, where were these games last year? They really needed them last year. Yeah. Remember last year when their big exclusive for the holiday was uh, 
was PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale yeah. and literally nothing else. Yeah. And it, um, they were smart because everyone's playing that game now, right? <laughs> it was a big hit. They didn't have to shut down that studio or anything. They just uh, drag them around. I can't remember what's new or not anymore, but that drag around thing, that's new, right? That's that's my issue with playing it too. It's like I think this is new where you can kind of just like grab people and then use them as a weapon temporarily. Uh, yeah, I'm fairly certain that's a new thing. Bra! Well, Oof. you play you I didn't play three. Have you guys played three? I did. Yeah. Okay. Three added the thing where you can like grab or you can three added something that was like broken as hell, and I don't remember I think it was just like a move where it was like you charge into or like you shoot your uh, blades forward and then kind of like run into them and I remember it being like the most broken thing ever and they got rid of it now uh, it's always funny to me how whenever we have like a prequel uh, following a trilogy it's like it's difficult to explain why suddenly Kratos can't use his sweet new moves in the future kind of thing you know Except, that, yeah I mean they have to they always have to find like they already try to find a cool way to to metroidize it I mean the only benefit is this time at least they don't have to like in every like God of War 2 and 3 started with and then you lose all your powers <laughs> yeah and this one they're just like you don't have them to begin with well the yeah. way you lose your powers in the start because you're two, just a man yeah the way you lose your powers in the start of 2 is at least pretty cool, I thought. Well, then in 3, I was like, come on, guys, again with this? It isn't bo it, you, uh, you go to hell, right? Yeah. You go to Hades. And it's funny, because like in 2, it was brilliant. And then in 3, they literally were like, you do that again. Literally the same thing. Man, the, the flames on his blades are almost blinding. That's very bright. It's okay, I'll open this thing up. Shut your hole! Oh, God. You're all infected. Are you okay? Yeah, maybe I just have really sensitive eyes today. See, the oath to the gods is easily sworn and not easily broken. The Furies are the only version... To the only, they're, that's their version of right and wrong. The oath to the gods is everything. Not killing families, mm -hmm. as, uh, as <laughs> is established by Greek... It's one of those games where it's like, I bet you early on that was the reason they were going to make the Furies. It's like, yeah. they're probably pretty pissed that he killed his wife, right? And then, like, later they're like, ah, this isn't as good of a reason. Let's just have him, uh... Well, I guess it wouldn't fit with how he remembers why he wants to kill Ares in the first game. You will see how we treat mm. Right? Oh, so, uh, there are oh, just so those are those tanker. crappy secondary weapons. Yeah, you get secondary about, weapons right? that are fun to use, except they're temporary, and then they just disappear. And it's like, that was just some guy's sword. Why is it stronger than my my Ares blades? Yeah. <laughs> Forged by the god of war himself. That are attached to unbreakable chains. <laughs> it's like, nope. It's, it, you know what's stronger than that? Steve's great sword that he dropped because he wasn't he wasn't he didn't need yeah. it that much <laughs> that he dropped after being murdered by Kratos. That's a good point. Yeah. It just seems a are there redundant. a lot of secondary weapons in this game compared to the previous? I think there ones? are three. Hmm. So I guess the answer to your question is no. Ah, and then you rip Ouch. his head off. It is time for you to meet your death. So, so angry. The is... boss battles start pretty quick. Wow. As is uh, as is the case. So that guy, look, see that guy in the background? That's a guy. That's Ooh. just a, that's just a goat man. It's like a guy kind of thing. Yeah. A guy guy? No. No. Oh. I, I said it and was like, I hope nobody goes after that. I wonder what they're going to do with God of War 4. Like, where does this leave them? That was pretty cool. Just toss you them turn them into You turn them into grenades. Yeah. I like that. We will see Ready for something gross? Oh no. Don't, don't make spiders come out of you. No! Wow. <laughs> oh boy. Dang! <laughs> no! And then they go into that thing. Hecatonkeries! Oh, Hecatonkeries is fun to say, try it. Hecatonkeries? Hecatonkeries. Look at this. Oh, that's just really gross. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, see you guys later. I'm gonna go throw up 14 times. Ugh. No, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Whoa! Wow! Wow! <laughs> that was pretty cool! <laughs> this game does its boss battle, and then and then you're also on- you're like on now. Wow. Jeez. Man, it is crazy good looking. So this though. game, uh, though you can read in my review, there I had issues with the overall product. If you're into, like, God of War's signature set piece stuff, mm. some of the best ones you'll find in the series. Like, the, the boss battles and just, like, the... It's essentially... I mean, a lot of this game is literally like, hey, let's just make a, an Uncharted game, except a sh instead, of a, instead of a shooter, it's a hack and slash, where it's, like, awesome cinematic moments. Oh, that's pretty yeah. cool. So those set-piece cinematic moments were great in... were also, like, helped in 
one, two, and three by you going like, I, f I want to get revenge on Hades or Ares or Zeus or whoever. Yeah, you don't care about that as much in this one, but it's it's made up for by the shininess. Oh, very pretty. Yeah. Santa Monica like pushed the PS3 pretty far. Is how it goes. But again, what do you do with God of War 4? Do you like go back? Do you go forward in time? Who's who's Kratos even mad at now? The you other know? maybe other gods? What gods are left? Know. Is he gonna fight the gods of other countries now? Like India? <laughs> That'd be China? cool. Other mythologies? Uh, that was rumored originally. And then you look at this, like the whole level is Whoa, on that you guy. pull the like, you pull the whole level. <laughs> oh, yep. That was wow. awesome. And wow. then Oh, and now it, are you gonna fight him on the new Now I'm fighting him like this. Wow. See this game does That's not really cool. This game disappoints when it comes to story, and not just story, but oh, you have to go down here. Oh, did I die? No, I didn't. You have to just stop there to do that. The game disappoints in terms of story and tone, but this sort of stuff is sort of why yeah. I play God of War. Yeah, and while yeah. it's not the best in the series total, the boss battles and stuff, like, this is so freaking cool. See, I've always kind of felt like well, in God of War, like, combat here has is, is always been more button mashy than in most uh, of the action games, right? Like, it's not not a, as huge an emphasis on the importance of combo variety. There is combo variety, but it's not as an integral part of to the game as, as other action And that's games. an issue I had with it, too. Not only that, but, like, the other God of Wars did a really good job of, like, yo, you've, you have, like, four different weapons, you have Hulk hands or whatever, or the hands Ooh. of uh, Hercules or whatever they decided to call them that day, but... This one just gives you these stupid swords and stuff that you use for like 30 seconds and then you're like, all right, I guess I'm done. Huh. The, you you're... gain elemental attacks, but they're not as satisfying as like a hammer. Right, yeah. The viewer playing, there were parts there just now where if you didn't have a 40 inch at least television, like how would you even see Kratos? Oh no, I messed up. Oh no! Oh boy. Oh, there, are, there are a lot of points like that and I feel like it's okay because this game has such good silhouettes that it knows like it's okay that you're only like like a, a centimeter tall on even a big screen it's the gameplay is done in such a way where it, it's okay with that all right bet you i mess up again don't do it well oh. let's not talk to him ryan you and me have a conversation <laughs> so ryan uh how do you have you seen the new oz movie i have not i watched a very funny interview hold on check this out i can talk again because this is gonna oh. be awesome oh you're gonna you're gonna oh. cut his throat with his own throat. oh man that's awesome oh this is oh, oh. oh man he didn't like that though you totally killed that like hand. look that this entire uh, structure thing. is on that thing's many arms wow. Wow. that is so cool so I'm guessing that's a Titan then? I don't, they never even address it. They're just like, and then you oh. do, this kind of stuff happens a lot. Like that's, this game's set pieces too. So just like awesome. in Tomb Raider then, you're just sliding, trying to dodge some stuff. This, yeah, the, everyone says this is the year of the bow. I'm going to say it's the year of sliding down stuff. <laughs> that seems Woo. pretty ad ad accurate as well. Whoa, oh, this is awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. Nope, nope. <laughs> Are there any no. brutal animations if you mess up too bad? No, you just kind of die and, and then it's like, you are dead. Try again, please. Yeah, this game uh, this game does that stuff well. And uh, you can check out more in the video review. I think we're just going to stop here for now. But be sure to check back for more Radar Plays whenever there's a new release. And also on Monday when we have retro games. Wednesday, Wednesday is when we play whatever we feel like, which is usually a prequel to a game that's about to get a sequel. Like we played a original God of War recently, and Fridays where uh, Lucas Sullivan plays whatever the hell he can find to try to confuse and intimidate your tastes. So <laughs> be sure to check back and uh, we'll talk to you later. No! Wow. <laughs> oh boy. Dang. <laughs> no. And then they go into that thing. Hecatonkeries. Oh, Hecatonkeries is fun to say. Try it. Hecatonkeries? Hecatonkeries.